The following is brought to you by the Master of Metal. Remember, you only need to click once, but that doesn't mean you can't mash your keyboard like a maniac. Okay, Shivana, we gonna kick your ass so hard, your grandkids only gonna have one ass cheek. That's what- Oh, just ult away, that works too. Welcome to the League of Legends Troll Spotlight. That's Troll Spotlight. Yeah, deep voices are cool. Featuring number one best, in Brazil. Mordekaiser is a tanky AP AD bruiser jungler mage carry assassin Huey 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 champion. Mordekaiser's hidden passive is Brazilian Hood. When he's played by a Brazilian player, he is automatically six times more powerful. I cannot utilize this ability as I am not Brazilian. Mordekaiser's actual passive, Iron Man, gives him a health based shield. This pretty much means that he can be balls deep in a fight and still never ever die. Okay, um, almost never. Mordekaiser's Q, W, and E are all potentially multi-targeted spells. I play Mordekaiser as a face roller, so I use all these spells to get a bunch of damage done while I'm still balls deep and probably going to die. Because I'm not in lane anymore, I lose all harassment value on my spells. But it's okay, because I'm a jungler and I get blamed for everything. Wait, how is that okay? Mordekaiser's alt, Children of the Grave, sounds more like some kind of combination of a... The pedophile and necrophile, that's disgusting. The ult is actually a single target percentage burst, as well as a damage over time. If you kill the target before your ult ends, you get them as your puppy. Look at that. Come on, Blitzcrank. Come, come help me, or just don't help me. Come on, faster. Yeah, yeah. Good doggy. Good doggy. See? Wasn't that fun? For items, I start Hunter's Machete so I don't die miserably in the jungle. This, of course, builds into the spirit of a Spectral Wraith. But what about the Wasted Mana region, you may ask? And to that, I say, does this look like the face of somebody who gives a rat's ass? Of course, you can't see my face right now, but not the point. The rest of the items is pretty much generically AP. We start off with boots with the Eclarity enchantment, so Mordekaiser doesn't really die all that often from, you know, getting CC'd as he's prone to, but he dies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I then build Rabadons, Rileys, and the new item, that mask thingy majig. So I have health, AP, and magic penetration. And now, since it's the troll build, you can build whatever the hell you want! For runes, I get magic penetration marks, armor seals, magic resist glyphs, and AP quintessences. It is very likely that there's a better rune set for this build, but I am too poor to afford anything. So deal with it. For masteries, I take 21 and 9. But to really talk about every single point would be a complete waste of time, so, well, I don't really care. Let's move on. When jungling Mordekaiser, you start Wraiths and then Red, because he doesn't really need blue, and, well, Red looks cooler? Wait, was I just being racist? Is that racist? If I call Red, is that racist? Somebody go check it up. Because if it is, I don't, I'm not really big into committing hate crimes. I'm just saying. One thing to keep in mind while jungling Mordekaiser is that he's slow, and he doesn't have any CC, so y you can't really gank. But that don't mean you can't get yourself no blue buff, and change the topic to a completely different thing from what I was talking before. This isn't a hate crime, right? You guys search that up? No? Yeah? Yeah? Okay? No? We good. A little later into the game, I decide to try my luck and try to gank Zed. Talon goes in on him, he dashes and I try to get him. I hit him once and I walk away because, well, I'm Mordekaiser and I can't really do anything. Not having learned my lesson, like always, I try to gang again. This time Pantheon sees me, I hit him, and I run like mad because he's higher level. Remember kids, your game has gone to hell if their support has more levels than your jungler. Which is me in this case, so, duh. Wasn't my fault. If all else fails, then you can just camp mid because, well, I always camp mid. Zed quickly flashes in to attack Talon, however me and Talon quickly kill him because Talon, well, cleaver OP. Pantheon decides to come and ult in onto Talon, Talon uses his ult, he gets jumped, I come in and chase Pantheon away. See kids, if you weren't capping mid, you wouldn't have saved Talon's life! Except, it's not really you, it's me, but, and that was the worst flash in the history of- NOT THE POINT! Since Mordekaiser's die from any and all types of CC, try not to go into your enemy jungle too much. After walking out of their jungle, I decide, screw you, I'm Mordekaiser, and I walk- Oh shit, 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 run, 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 run,
Oh, that, 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 I died. However, Talon managed to kill Zed. Um, it's all part of my plan. It was like a distraction, you know? You know. As we move into the team fight stage, I'm still weak as all hell. However, Mordekaiser can still fight when he's weak. Look, I just all Jarvan and, well, my friend dies, but I get his ghost, see? Go, my minion, fight my... Or take a couple of tower hits and walk back, that works too. Here, I find myself in kind of a pickle because two of them have caught me. Jana tries to help me, but she realizes that that's not really possible. I summon up all my power and use Mordekaiser's most ultra and butt rapiest move. And by that I mean I flash out of cataclysm. Thank you, Jarvan, for saving my life. If you were a little bit more successful with Mordekaiser Jungle, you have a game something like this. With you not feeding anybody. The NAD team comes in and tries to steal Baron, but I smite it quickly and we start the team fight. A quick ult on Cassidy gives us the advantage in the fight and we immediately go on the other people. Kale for some reason not shielding herself, shielded Cho'Gat the tank instead, but we managed to kill both of them. Well, as you can see, of course, eventually. See? Mordekaiser jungle's totally not stupid at all. It's OP! Right. If you try trolling Jungle Mordekaiser and you fail miserably, it's totally not my fault because... Um, if anyone asks, this video doesn't exist. Because of Mordekaiser's awesome Brazilianness, we managed to push down the turrets and win the game in both games. Victory. See? A 2 for 2 victory! That's how awesome Mordekaiser is! So go out there, play Jungle Mordekaiser, and don't blame me when you lose, because that's totally not my fault. And that's about it for another episode of Champion Spotlight. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever, I'll share, and I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Champion Spotlight. I kind of said that a while back, but whatever. Whatever. Um, I haven't played uh, League in a while. I haven't, I haven't made a Champion Spotlight in a while, and for that I'm kind of sorry. Um, but I've been really busy lately. I try to take, uh, in this video, of course, I try to take as much advice as you've given me out in the comment section below. Um, so I hope you like the new commentating, the new editing, things like that. Uh, I hope you like it very much. Uh, I try to improve it as much as I can. Uh, and if you, if you notice my really bad voice, I've had a cold for like a month. That's a long time to have a cold. Uh, I'm sorry for that. If you think my voice is not up to par today. But I think, I think it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you next time, click on one of the links, uh, thank you!